guys, what's up? Um, I was just lurking the interweber nets, and I stumbled on, you know, my YouTube inbox, which is what I do. So I started looking at old messages I had in there, and um, when we were still doing vlog cookies when I lived away from home, Amber had sent me a private video. So. I couldn't remember ever receiving it, and I know I did after I watched it. So I started watching it, and uh, in it she was talking about a retreat, a religion retreat. We went on in grade 12 before, you know, at the beginning of the year before grad and before I moved and everything like that. So um, in it she was talking about how at this retreat we wrote ourselves a letter that the school mailed out a year after. So this video took place a year afterwards, and she was thinking, you know, when did we send that? Like, when are we supposed to receive it? So, I remember watching that video and then coming home that weekend, and uh, the letter was here, waiting for me. Which is so odd that, you know, it came to her mind and then we got it. So, I remember reading it, and just like, bawling, like bawling. You see, throughout high school I had like the best friends ever, like absolutely. And this letter to myself, written in grade 12, was just telling me, you know, these friends are amazing people. Like, two specifically, Amber was one of them. They're amazing people, you're so lucky to have them, you know, keep... If you lose everyone else in your life, just keep these two people in your life. And then that year, like, I mean... I mean, you guys have heard me speak about my ex, considering when I started the champ, I was living with him. So... He wasn't very fond of me um, speaking to this second friend. And I mean, that happened often. We both had jealousy issues some of the time, but he was just a bit much sometimes. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can be too, I guess, but not like that. Anyways, um, getting on with it. Basically, every time I would want to hang out with this friend, or if I would mention this friend from seeing that school or whatever, um, it was a big fight. So I ended up, like, I don't even know why or how I did it, but I ended up distancing myself from this friend just because I wanted to avoid fighting with my boyfriend at the time. And... I pretty much lost the friend for a couple of years, um, especially since, you know, I moved in with that boyfriend after that, and in a different city at that, so it, it was, it was hard, it was really hard, and I just missed the guy all the time, and it was ridiculous that I even did it, I still don't know why or how that happened. And I remember reading that letter while I was living in, you know, away from home. And we were having problems, like I didn't even want to live there anymore. And reading this letter telling me how amazing that friend was and that I should never, you know, never let that one go kind of thing. And I did. Um, this isn't just a bummer video, for the record. Because as it turns out, when I moved back home, you know, I did, I, I messaged that friend with a humongous apology, and I was lucky enough that they started talking to me again. So we are close again. It's just thinking back, like it got me upset all over again. Like, don't ever, okay, this is advice from me, from the bottom of my heart, because honestly, if I could change anything in my entire life, and usually I'm the type of person that's like, you should never regret anything you do, because it makes you who you are, and blah blah blah, you should, like, 
you should always be happy with your life. It could be worse. And you can always make it better. But if I could change anything in my life, that's what I would change. I wouldn't fucking stop talking to someone, like one of my closest friends, because it pissed someone else off. Because if that person really cared about you, and really knew you, then why would they tell you or pressure you or guilt you in any way to stop talking to one of your best friends and like like I don't even want to say that exactly because just hold on to the good ones and don't let anyone change that about you. I am so glad that that whole year is done and over with. I, well, I guess it's like five in the morning and I haven't slept yet, so I've been thinking about this all night. My life's changed a lot in the past few years. I've done some stupid shit. I've done some really, really smart changes that I should have done sooner, and I'm really, really glad, and I know I put it off because it was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life, was admit I was wrong, but I was, and I can say that now. So, but yeah, that's it. That's all I was thinking about was that retreat letter in it. I still don't know how that happened. I'm sorry.